Pura Matrix is a self-assembling peptide hydrogel. It is composed of a specific repeating amino acid sequence that forms multiple alpha helices and beta sheets in a secondary structure. These create a strengthened nanofiber structure which then forms a hydrogel which is injectable and can thus be used in a variety of biomedical applications. From regeneration of tissues such as cardiovascular or neurological to delivery of highly specific biologically active agents or cells such as hormone growth factor or cytokines. As is visible here, the researcher adds one drop of the solution at a time. This solution contains the specific amino acid sequence used for this assembly. After each drop is added, the matrix expands into a more solid nanofiber structure. There is clearly no manual manipulation of the peptide structure. It is being assembled on its own through the intermolecular forces in the amino acids. Pura Matrix has proven in animal studies to be capable of cleanly delivering growth factors and mesenchymal stromal cells, or stem cells, to an infarcted heart. Since a heart attack or heart failure has caused the heart muscle to die, the combination of stem cells and growth factors enable the heart to regrow, so to speak, and recover some lost functionality. Similarly, in the skeletal system, Pura Matrix has been shown to increase structural integrity of bones and cartilage when it was used as a scaffold for those tissues. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, the nanofiber scaffolding created by Pura Matrix has been shown to increase neural tissue regeneration. Hamsters had sections of their brain lesioned causing loss of visual function. When Pura Matrix solution was applied to the knife wound, not only did the scaffolding enable axons to regrow across the lesion site, restoring any lost vision, it had also appeared to knit the tissue together, almost completely healing or regenerating the wound to the point where it seemed as if a seamless junction. When similar amounts of saline solution were applied instead, there was no regrowth of axons, no improvement in eyesight, and the gap remained very visible. It had scarred rather than healed.